We thank you for logging on to Fan590.com. I'm David Alter alongside Mark Masters of the National Post getting you ready for the Rough Riders and the Argonauts. Three o'clock start on the Fan590 and Mark. Uh, we've been waiting for Saskatchewan for a while. What can we really expect with the Argos being a 6-6 six and six team and not playing very well as of late? It's, it's hard to know what to expect. Uh, I mean, first and foremost, the Argos get Corey Boyd back. Running back, he's been uh, their most uh, most uh, you know dangerous weapon on offense. So him back in the lineup, that should make them, uh, on offense at least, much more effective. They've really struggled uh, to score points the last two weeks with him out of the lineup with a concussion. Uh, and, and I think that in, that in that respect, I'm not sure what to expect against the Saskatchewan. Uh, the Rough Riders have, are also a very inconsistent team. Uh, they won last week uh, against Hamilton in Hamilton. It's the first time in, in five road games that they got a win. They had been 1-4 uh, up until that point. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how they play second of a two-game road trip before they head back for, for a home game against Toronto next week. So it's, there's a lot of question marks heading into this game. A question mark will be a quarterback for the Argos. Cleo Lemon sits out with concussion issues. Dalton Bell gets his first professional start, and it happens against the team he was third and fourth string for. Argos getting him for something like a fifth round pick really was an offseason move just to kind of clear the decks and uh, does Dalton Bell have a chip on his shoulder going into this uh, given the fact that uh, you know it's right for the taking. He played scout team for this team so he should know this team better than anyone you would think. Well that's come out come up throughout the week. Uh, Dalton during his uh, media availability today he, uh, he took a he kind of subtly suggested yeah he'd be interested in taking on a team that gave him up for a fifth round draft pick uh, uh, this week. It'll be interesting. I mean, he was the only quarterback the Argos brought in a, in training camp who had any sort of CFL experience. So he's been around Saskatchewan for two years. Uh, I'm not sure he's going to know everything that the Rough Riders do, but you think that would be a bit of an advantage. I mean, you never know. Again, that's another huge question mark. When a, when a quarterback makes their first professional start, you don't know how they're going to respond. Uh, I think the Argos are hoping that he'll come off the bench and give them a bit of a spark. And the way their offense has played the last two weeks, in terms of at least scoring points, uh, they can't do much worse. So Dalton Bell comes in, maybe he gives them a lift, he'll have Corey Boyd, that will help. Uh, and yeah, he seemed excited, and let's see if he makes the most of this opportunity. Adrian Belly out again, we don't know when he may be back, but uh, exciting for Danny Brannigan, he will be in the lineup, it will be his first time dressing in a regular season game, and barring anything unforeseen, maybe he will be playing. Uh, how important is that Canadian quarterback in rosters, and, and should something be done about this, because uh, earlier head coach Jim Parker really stressed his passion for trying to get more Canadian involvement at the pivot position. Uh, Jim Barker had uh, an agenda per se when he came into his uh, pregame news conference. Uh, he wanted to talk about the Canadian quarterback issue. Danny Brannigan again getting to dress for his first regular season game as a professional as a third stringer, two injuries away from uh, taking taking some snaps for the Argos. Uh, Jim Jim suggested that you know it's time for the league to to change its import to non import ratio rules to allow for more Canadian uh, quarterbacks to be on the roster. It's been a hot button topic uh, last year. It was discussed as the new CBA was uh, was getting drawn up whether or not. Uh, the league should even look at reducing the amount of Canadians on rosters. But Brannigan is the only Canadian quarterback currently uh, really in the league. So, uh, you know, that's it's, it's, it. Barker's comments will spark, uh, I'm sure, a debate this week. It's going to be covered in the media uh, and it's going to be 